Hey, what's up, guys? It's Haxamax here, bringing you another Pokemon Black and White 2 PO battle. Now, I haven't actually uploaded a battle in quite some time, actually. But, you know, I've been really busy with school lately and, you know, the whole LP starting up. I haven't actually had a lot of time to go on PO that I would like to, but uh, hopefully that will change in the future because, you know, I love bringing you guys battles. And today we've got just a quick battle that I had. It was actually pretty good against some guy named Unseen User found on the PO server earlier today. Uh, looking at my team, it is a bit different, but it is sand as usual. I've got a Resto Chesto Rotom, Evel Genesec, uh, Calm Mind, Life Orb, Alakazam, uh, New or Sword and New, Sheer Force Landorus, and uh, Scarf Terrakion. My opponent's team is kind of uh, interesting. I guess he does have a Weavile on it, which is pretty cool. And let me tell you, this Weavile actually does quite a bit of work to my team because I did not really expect it. I think it was Choice Banded. Probably choice ban because Weavile's uh, speed is so high anyway. And uh, he's actually using non weather, so I haven't actually seen a whole lot of that because, you know, um, having weather always gives you an advantage. But other than that, he does have the Conkleder, which my uh, team won't appreciate taking any fighting type attacks. And the Heatran will kind of be annoying for my Genesec because Heatran does well Genesec quite well. But uh, let's see how I can get around that. So I'm going to lead off with my Genesec as he leads off with his Conkleder. I do get the special attack boost, but I know that I can't really do anything to the Conqueror, and I don't want to take a Dream Punch, because what I'm going to U-turn out, go into Lander to take the fighting type attack. He does go for the Dream Punch, does about a substitute amount of health to me, and it activates his Toxic Orb, which is pretty scary. But here, uh, I actually do predict his switch into uh, Gladios, because it's the only thing on his team, which could actually take an Earth Power, but uh, he obviously doesn't know that I'm special yet, so I'm actually going to go for the HP Ice do over half to the Latios as he does hit me with the Surf. Now uh, here, he actually does uh, switch into Conkleder, predicting my Tyranitar switch in, but I switch into Rotom, thinking he can take the Surf a lot better. Well, not a lot better, but it can take the Surf, but I'm gonna go for the Hydro Pump right here, try and get some damage on the Conkleder, but of course with the Guts activated, Dream Punch will do a hell of a lot to my Rotom Wash, and he will take me out with the Mock Punch. Not really, it didn't really matter just because I just need my Rotom to win the game, because I have a safe switch in my landers now. I can just go straight for the earth power. I thought he might want to sack it with his wide and go for the sub this time and I want my health as high as possible but he actually does go into his Latios and this time I predict him to just go for the surf so I switch out into my Tyranitar. And looking at the damage I definitely do not know his specs and I don't see light board or lefties. So I'm guessing it is a scarf Latios and here actually does stay and go for another surf um, because he does obviously predict the pursuit which I do go for. So that is a dead Latios, and in comes this Choice Fan Weavile, I'm gonna go for the Low Kick. Chubber activates, obviously it doesn't matter because the Low Kick will take me out, but I don't really care because he has the weather, and all I need to Tyranitar for was to take out his Latios, so now I can go into my Genesec. He obviously doesn't know that I am expert about yet, so I can go for the U-turn. I could have predicted the Fortress Switch and gone for the Flamethrower, but he could have switched into Heatran as well, just because, you know, Heatran walls Genesec. But I can go into Landers thinking, he might not have anything to hit me because some uh, most fortresses do create both switch now and uh, or earthquake. But he actually reveals the gyro ball, which is unfortunate. So I can't have a free sub. But he actually switched out into Jealous and not wanting to take a earth power, knowing that I'm special now. So I can go for two earth powers to a KO the Jealous, which is great. And now he's gonna send out his Weavile. I do not want to take an ice share, which is why I was gonna switch. But he actually reveals the pursuit, so that was a good plan. His part prediction he just switched out, not wanting to take the ice shard. But now I can send out my Genesis again, whopping the Scarf, and I can go for the U-turn. Now here I thought he might want to send out his U-turn again, because he sent out his Fortress last time, but no, he does send out his Fortress once again. And actually get a crit U-turn, obviously, did not matter at all. So now I can send out my Alakazam, and I do know it's probably physically defensive, so I can easily take him out with the Focus Flash from that range, so that is a dead Fortress. So, um, yeah, I'm looking pretty good here, I do have my Alakazam out, but of course he has to send out his Revile again. And there's really nothing I can do at this point just because Weavile has naturally a uh, higher base speed than Alakazam by like 5 I think. So even if I did stay in with a few go for pursuit and yeah, I would die. But um, I can send out my Twist Scarf to Rakia knowing that I can outspeed and just close combat everything else on his team. He decides to sack as Heatran and now he can just send out his Conkleder to take me out with the Mock Punch. I didn't really care for my Terrakion anymore because it did do his job because I know that my Genesect can take the Mock Punch as well as any move that his uh, Choice Band Weavile wants to do to me after the Mock Punch because uh, you know there's a reason why Weavile's not in uh, OU so uh, yeah I can take him out with the Flamethrower 
and in comes his Weavile once again. He's gonna go for the low kick because it's the best thing he has to hit me with. And I'm able to live that with 7% and I can just take him out with the flamethrower. Obviously the crit did not matter. And that's going to be good game. Unseen user, just a 1-0. That was actually very close. It was a quick battle as well, but again, I wanted to give you guys a pretty good one. And um, yeah, expect some more. Expect also uh, the, the LP to keep on going. I'll try to throw in some battles here and there in the process as well. But until then, guys, thank you for watching. Remember to like and comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time.